amazing insect buildings. The famous old saying, big things come in small packages, applies very well to ants. They are small six-legged insects with most species being less than one inch, but an ant can lift up to 20 times its weight. This is the same thing as if a person lifted a car. Most ants use this power to build bridges, towers and rafts, but not with any external material, but with their own body. Let's see how they do such feats. Fierce Maneuverers You might think that the fiercest creatures in the tropical forests of South Africa could be none other than wild cats or giant pythons. But in the dry leaves lying on the ground under the forest, there lives such an ant that keeps lizards, birds, and even snakes away. These soldiers are known as army ants. There are over 200 species of army ants, but most ants can be identified by their dark brown to black bodies with orange-colored waists. It is very powerful. Other insects like snails and wasps live in fear of becoming food for these fierce military ants. Even the insects that nest above the ground are not safe from the attack of these ants. Sometimes these army ants use incredible ways to build this hanging bridge. It could take a lot of effort for this, but you must be wondering why they didn't climb the side of the house or tree to reach the nest instead. This is because army ants can walk straight on flat surfaces easily, but it is a bit difficult for them to walk on inverted surfaces. In such a surface, they cannot walk carrying the weight. These ants struggle a lot to build this bridge. Let us see how these ants build the bridge. Although these army ants are practically blind, they assemble themselves in an organized way, which is unbelievable considering the extremely tiny size of their brains. These little ants follow a simple rule. When an army ant reaches a gap in the path ahead, it naturally slows down. The rest of the ants in the trailing colony are unaware of the gap and continues at their current speed. As a result, they go ahead moving on to the first ant, and as soon as there's a gap ahead, they also immediately freeze there. Similarly, other ants coming from behind also slow down after reaching the gap and freeze. In this way, the ants join themselves with their body and start making a bridge that fills the mile gap in their way. However, being blind, individual ants do not know how many members of their colony are currently filling in this gap. This is where the next phase of their rule begins. The ants that pass through their backs can find out from the feel of other ants on its back how many more ants are going to come, and hence they remain stable in whatever position they are in. When they no longer feel the weight of the ants on their backs, they know that they are no longer required for building the bridge, and hence they unfreeze and rejoin the march. The whole system works like a start-stop switch built into their brains. In this way, the ants are joined together to form a whole amazing structure that overcomes even the most steep slopes. Now, we can call this the perseverance of ants, or say that they are the true soldiers. Unfortunately, army ants do not have a permanent nest, but can build a nest with their own bodies when the groomers are in their immobile phase. You can see this cone-shaped nest spread up to 3 feet that a 0.15 million to 0.7 million worker ants make by joining their legs and body like an amazing architect. Thousands of larvae live inside this with the queen ant and worker ants are responsible for taking care of their food. Every 20 days or so, the army ants move to a new place after every 20 days. They usually build their nests on the side of trees or pieces of rotten wood. This is all about today's video. Please like, share, and comment your views. Thank you for watching.